Okay, welcome back. Pardon me the commentary. So now, because of crime, vagrancy, they're going to go ahead and uh, some people are going to be inconvenienced. Not surprising. Personally, I would not feel comfortable trying to use an ATM machine in any vestibule. You got someone, you know, because of their life circumstances, sleeping, urinating, whatever. You or somebody's over there. Maybe they need a, a psych consult, yelling, screaming. So it's more than annoying. But I hate to tell you, you have to outweigh. You have to weigh the is it safety or you're getting some cash. This day and age, I, there's no guarantee of safety. Get cash, maybe even in the daytime if you can. But it's just not ideal. And, and I understand it because you could be there late at night, 24-7. You know, you, you're getting your cash. Man, somebody just waiting. It, it, I hate to tell you, aside from inconvenience, it could save a life. Somebody, just, one person, two, somebody just waiting and then bump you, take the money. They will stab and they will shoot. There's no regard for human life at this point. It, it just isn't. I don't care where you are. So now they're going to close several ATM vestibules at 5 or 6 p.m. I understand 10, 5 or 6. That kind of lets you know, hey, I think what they're facing. A lot in the hours of service to normal branch hours due to what? Due to rising crime and vagrancy. And it's not going to get any better. Again, more jobs are laying off. I'm looking at the screen right now. Oh my gosh, I should have oh, should have shorted in phase. A lot of red on the screen right now this morning. So what's going to happen? More job layoff, less paychecks. I'm sorry to say, we're gonna you're going to see more homeless people. You're going to see people homeless. Uh, people having to readjust their lives that were making two, three hundred thousand and up. Oh yeah, it's it's already happening. And you would think, ah, oh, you're making that kind of money, but especially now, New York City may be a little different. But you're making decent money. What happens when the money stops? Things are gonna get worse. So that I get it. Five or six o'clock p.m. That. It, it, it speaks volumes, but this is where we are. Now, let's move on. Are they going to refund the ATM machine? Sometimes the lack of an answer is the answer. More than likely, they're, they're, they're not. And there's not going to be a way to improve because guess what? Society is decaying. They're more, they're, in my opinion, the American taxpayers. You've been put on the back burner. You're going to have to go figure that out. You know, it's really bad when we get to a system. Again, I have never seen this in my life. It was really bad. Look at this. When they're having to chain the detergent. And not surprising. I've done a video. I've seen it where a couple literally just went into a store and they just grabbed a whole bunch of uh, detergent. Didn't pay for it. Walk on out. You, when have you, I have never in my life seen this. This is how, this is the detergent if you want to get it. They got it chained up. So I guess you have to go and ask someone to unchain it. And I hate to say it. With the new laws, you can unchain it and give the person the detergent. They might still decide to make a break for it, make a run for it. And then what do you do? You still lose. If they get that desperate, they will still make a break for it. I'm going to go ahead and make a run. I'm going to take my chances. And so you went through all of this for nothing. They might get confrontational. The they might have a um. They, they might become violent because of detergent. But it's that bad. 
Again, what are the politicians doing? Where's the help for the American workers? You're, I'm seeing every day more cutoffs, more layoffs coming. The information is out there. Where is the where's the parachute for the American worker? So now they're having to chain up detergent. This is crazy. The fact that you even have to do this. So let me know what you all think. Again, people sleeping inside the ATM machine locations. I mean, what do you do? Go with a group? One person get the money out, then the other three or four, you know, turn around, stay and watch, then take turns? Are we going to have to start coordinating our ATM withdrawal time? Let's go ahead and get four people. Who needs to go to the ATM machine? Okay, one person, you go. Then this person, you go. Then that person, you go. And the others may have to stand, you know, kind of show to that person and just stand and just watch. Even that's no guarantee. But I'm saying, is it going to get to that point? Things are really, really bad. Chaining up. So the ATM locations are going to shut down. And now they're having to chain up the detergent. And don't forget, they haven't, which I think they're in denial, my opinion. They haven't officially said recession, which I think we're already here. So if things get a lot worse, hmm, what do you think is going to happen? Anyway, thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I beg of you, I plead with you, be alert, be aware. You already know why? Man, the dust is thick out there. And I'm out. Simply said here on YouTube. Love you. People, please stay safe.